How's it going YouTube and welcome to a very exciting video. So if you're subscribed then you'll know that I am Jack from Cut Crew Limited. We are a commercial grounds maintenance business operating in Northamptonshire, Milton Keynes, Bedfordshire and East Midlands. So David from Moe Man Garden Machinery is trying to convert me to electric and we're going to find out the pros and cons of electric specifically for two months in our business we are demoing the Cress Electric Range. Now the range that I've got behind me I believe is a residential range rated for light commercial work but I'm sure we can put it through its paces. Specifically this is the 60 volt kit. I believe that they also do a 40 volt kit. So let's dive right in and see what goodies they've given us. First and foremost it's important to say this is just going to be an unboxing video to show you the kit that we've been given. We're going to be doing several videos on each piece of equipment pitting them up against a fair test to the petrol equivalent. That being said, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you can follow the journey of us transitioning to electric. Now we already know some of the electric manufacturer suppliers with the likes of Ego and Echo currently dominating the market. Cress are bringing out some really interesting innovations to the market. I believe they're bringing out a new commercial range that has a power bank that can charge batteries within eight minutes. Don't hold me to that, but I'm gonna do an in-depth video on that when that kit is released. But for now, let's dive right in and take a look at the goodies we have. So as mentioned before, we've got the 60 volt range here. We've got the strimmer, a chainsaw, a leaf blower, and a hedge cutter with a backpack battery system. If you want to know the in-depth technical specs of this equipment, then make sure you watch the standalone videos for each piece of equipment. So let's go ahead, I'm really excited. Let's open up some equipment and pit it to the test. Happy days. Start, what should we start with? Let's start with a blower. So we've got the Cress 60 volt brushless blower. Comes with two year warranty and it can do 1275 meters cubed an hour, whatever that means. As I said, we'll do the in-depth specs of each piece of equipment in separate videos. Let's get it out of the box. Cool, it's really well packaged. Right, so first thing we've got our end tube. I mean, it looks a good bit of kit. It's plastic. Can't really say a lot more about that. The first thing I've noticed with this piece of equipment is it's got a turbo button, which for any men in the industry is going to be very important. Nice, easy on and off switch there. Really small, light and compact. Easy to operate that end tube when on a piece. Oh, I like that feature. So there's a little slide. So I really like that feature. You can extend with just a simple slide and uh, as you can see there it says volume and speed so i'm guessing the more volume at the end and more speed towards the handle of the equipment yeah first impressions really light again this is currently without a battery but we'll put that to a test in a minute so there's the blower cool right so next on the list we have the 60 volt 35 centimeter chainsaw 35 centimeter is a 14 inch bar on this. It's got a 22 meters per second chain speed. Again, brushless motor and all of this equipment, it looks like it comes with a two plus one warranty. I'm gonna to have to ask David what that means, but you've got a warranty on this equipment. So let's jump straight in. So it looks like this is gonna require some assembly. So it's come really well packaged again. And we've got our bar separately separate here so we're actually going to be using this on a job tomorrow so i'm not going to go too in depth with this piece of equipment in today's video however on first looks well we'll see tomorrow won't we but make sure you tune in for the video on the crest chainsaw one thing i have noticed is it hasn't come with any tools but it looks like it's a really simple quick release system but again we'll go into depth with this tomorrow i think and and have a really good play with it but it looks really easy to use and yeah it's a chainsaw right the next piece of equipment on our list is the strimmer so i have done a little bit of research before doing this video and i'm really excited to have this particular crest strimmer this is the quick load system so for an echo user that would be the equivalent of speed feed again 60 volts i've heard really good things about these so it's got a 38 centimeter cutting diameter so again, that's pitting it up with the current market leaders, Echo and Steel. One of the things I'm really excited about moving to electric is the weight. 
and the weight of this equipment without the battery is three kilograms that's going to instantly reduce fatigue so again i'm really excited to put this one to the test let's get it out of the box car it's nearly as tall as me i feel like i'm under loads of pressure because david said keep the box nice and i'm one of those people that just tears stuff open so unboxing videos probably aren't a great idea for me but we're getting there Sure, look at that. Right, straight out of the box. So it also comes with a harness and straight out of the box. And it also looks like and it also looks like we've got to install a guard on that. That's interesting. This time it's come with the required tools, which tells me that the chainsaw must be mega easy to use with limited tools so yeah uh, we'll slap the guard on this in a second and give this one a quick test because i'm excited about this first impressions it might be reduced with the battery but it feels really heavy towards the trimmer end but again it comes with that harness so we can give that a go but no it feels really ergonomic and nice to use one thing i have noticed is there's an eco button so we'll find out what that does Really like the handle on the handset, feels really comfy. That's a really nice touch, I quite like that. So there's a little resting pad for your arm and elbow. Unfortunately, I'm like ridiculously tall, so nothing in the universe ever fits me, but I'm sure that'll fit Ash or Jack just fine. So yeah, in a second, we'll slap the guard on that and get that set up. But yeah, first impressions are a good one for this piece of equipment. Oh, that's a game changer. It's also come with a nice ergonomic little handle. And again, as mentioned, a harness. So really good to know. And I've saved the best till last because I'm mega excited for this piece of equipment. This piece of equipment is the 48 centimeter hedge cutter. It has the backpack battery pack. It has the backpack battery pack jack. So yeah, I'm really excited to get this one out of the box and get this straight onto site into use but as a commercial maintenance business this is probably going to be the biggest game changer for us if i'm totally honest we're probably not going to use the blower we'll definitely use the strimmer and the chainsaw and the hedge cutter is going to be a game changer as the noise reduction is going to help our clients massively it's going to save fatigue for my staff and just being able to turn up at site and you know not annoy people making that absolute racket and i guess the cost savings on fuel and things like that but yes let's get this out of the box imagine i prepped all the boxes before this video and didn't do the piece of equipment i'm most excited for so we've got a toolkit there with a guard again we'll have to get that on one thing i'm going to say about this equipment is it's really well packaged in the fact that there's not loads of stuff in the box. It is literally just the box and some protection. There's not all that riffraff stuck in that I'm now going to have to go to the tip. So, yeah, well, I'm not going to have to anyway because David wants the boxes back, but still, it's nice. The first thing I'm picking up is that battery backpack with the backpack link cable to the hedge cutter. Feels really light. There's loads of padding in there so i'm sure that that's going to be mega comfy but yeah really excited to give this a go we're going to jump straight on the hedges here and then we've got the hedge cutter itself and oh my days that feels light so again brushless motor 60 volt we've got the dead man switch there on the handle it looks like we've got two modes there uh Again, without testing this, I don't know what those modes do. And then we've got the nice little safety switch and trigger there. Feels really, really light. Really, that's a really substantial cover compared to some of the other competitors. So chucking that in the back of the truck or the van is not gonna be a problem. Got a nice little blade guard on there. Again, the blades look substantial, really easy to maintain. These are the things you gotta think about as a commercial company is how much is it going to cost me to keep it on the fleet so yeah that looks really easy to maintain and yeah mega happy with how that looks again i cannot get over the height oh we've got a rotating handle there so we can get the old linears and the 
I don't know if that's the right correct term. We can get the old verticals and the horizontals and that's mega quick and easy to change. So yeah, really good piece of kit. Right, let's get this stuff built up. Let's have some playtime, shall we? So you get this cradle also, and I charged all the batteries last night. And I think for two batteries, it took about half an hour to charge completely from empty out of the box. And then I charged one single battery on its own and it took about 15, 20 minutes. So yeah, realistically, that's no time at all. If you had an inverter in the back of the van, by the time you've driven to your next site, all your batteries are charged back up again. There's gonna be separate videos on all of these pieces of equipment. And one of those videos is how long will these batteries last? And I'm gonna send the lads out on a day when they're only allowed to use battery with no backup and see what happens. The kit was really easy to set up. It took us about five minutes. Let's jump on some of it and see how it is. So Ash, you're gonna be my test dummy. Thanks mate. Um, Ash has got a lot of experience in the industry, so it'll be good to see his thoughts on the pieces of equipment. What are you gonna go for first? Edge I knew it. Right, let's crack on. <laughs> So as you can see there, Ash has got the battery on his back on a backpack and he's got the trailing cable plugged into the piece of equipment. First impressions? Better than petrol. You reckon? Yeah. Cuts nicer. Light? Very light. Happy days. Happy days. Right, YouTube. So as I've said, we're going to be doing in-depth videos on every single piece of this equipment. So make sure you like and subscribe and comment below what video you want us to drop first. Obviously, a massive shout out to David at Moaman who's given us his own equipment in order to produce this video and test. So Chris, if you watch this, hit those brand deals up. I think there's only a certain amount of time we can avoid the topic of electric in our industry. So I'm really excited to, to produce this video and all the other videos putting it to the test against petrol. As mentioned, this series is specifically gonna be on the Crest 60 volt kit. Please do make sure to let us know what video you're most excited for and what piece of equipment you want us to test first. As always, it's been a pleasure. I am Jack from Cut Crew Limited. You can click here for our website here to subscribe, here to watch our weekly video series, and here to watch a video that YouTube thinks you might like.